All right, go ahead and take a normal setup here, and what we're going to ask you to do is go ahead and fold your arms across your chest here, and we're going to go ahead and hold this golf club into this position. We want to make sure the head of the golf club is hanging out here. We've put a shaft in the middle of my stance here, and what I want you to do is make a backswing, and then as you turn through the golf ball, I want you to go ahead and keep your right heel on the ground and see how far you can turn this shoulder and get this shaft here past the shaft on the ground. This is a great drill for those of you that tend to come underneath the shot this way. You can see that if I go ahead and turn back and then try and swing my right shoulder under, you can see how it forces my spine to go backwards. So what we want to do here is, again, keeping this right heel on the ground, we want to go ahead and turn back and then as we turn through, we're trying to get this shaft past the shaft that's on the ground. If I go ahead and set this up the opposite way here, you're going to see again that I go ahead and take a setup, got the shaft right here in between my two feet, and what we're going to do is keeping this right heel on the ground, we're going to go ahead and turn back and see how far we can turn this shoulder past the shaft on the ground, keeping this right heel on the ground. What we want to try and get out of in doing this drill is any look where the shaft is coming this way and this right heel is coming up. This is really going to help you stabilize your lower body through impact and get the feeling that your upper body stacks on top of your lower body. So a normal setup, arm across the chest here with the club hanging out, we turn back, keeping this right heel on the ground, we try and turn the shoulder as far past the shaft on the ground as we possibly can.